Hi world, Chatty Dad one here today coming at you. Oh boy, I was listening to talk radio earlier, seeing what they had to say about it. I uh, they're supposed to be our voice for those who uh, don't want big government, and they're supposed to be, you know, the equalizers here. But I didn't hear any, any of them talk about what went down in Watertown, that we lost our freedoms Friday night. None of them, except for Glenn Beck that I know of, none of them have said anything else but the same story that the, that the media is feeding everybody. They're they're right on in it with them, and and it just makes me sick. These guys are supposed to be speaking out on this. Like I said, Glenn Beck did some, and I sure hope that Mark Levin will, and I hope that Michael Savage will. But as far as I know, the rest of them haven't said a word about what happened Friday in Watertown, Massachusetts. That the citizens there were stripped of their rights and absolutely run over. Even worse than that, they were scared all of this because of a 19 year old kid that they were looking for who was unarmed hiding in the back of a boat but you know <clears throat> as far as I know there was no resistance to this thing and what would you do I mean my goodness look at this look at the tremendous force that these guys have major major firepower major manpower armed to the teeth with authority on their side you know we have the oath keepers that have taken an oath to protect us but they can't do it alone we have to stand up we have to back them up we have to support them they can't defend us by themselves. We can't ask them to do that. I'm sure they will. But we can't do that. We can't let this happen, people. They have absolutely taken the rights of these people in Watertown and just thrown it right out the window. There is no constitution when this kind of stuff happens. And the really sad thing about it is that there was no opposition. There is nobody talking about it right now. In the media that I know of, there ain't nobody saying uh, <clears throat> people was violated. Their constitutional rights was just absolutely violated. Nobody had search warrants to go in anybody's house. Nobody had the, the, uh, nobody had the right and the authority to do this. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you're... The, the letters are on your shirt or on your jacket. I don't care what firearm you have. You don't have that right. You're not supposed to anyway. Not in, a, not in America. But this is Obama's America. This isn't the one I grew up in. And this is TSA Viper teams. You're going to start seeing them real soon. Everywhere. And that's what this event has caused. That's what I referred to. We didn't just get attacked by terrorism. Our freedoms were attacked. And, and, and they took them. They took them. And we haven't said a word. Alex Jones is about one of the more spoken out ones. Him and, just a sec, him and Glenn Beck. The others, I haven't heard a word. Get used to seeing Bob Wire. 
Because if you don't stand up now and take a stance and help keep your rights, they're going to keep trampling. That's really what I feel. They're going to keep on, not going to stop. Once you allow tyrannical thugs to c continue abuse, they they keep on. It's it's a hunger. They crave power and authority. They can continue. All because of a 19-year-old kid. All of this. I don't know how much money and time was spent with this. But it's sad. It's ridiculous. And nobody is speaking out against what what has happened. What happened? That we lost our rights. That the people in Watertown, Massachusetts lost their rights. They had no rights. They were faced with a super superior force and they could not do anything about it. Not a thing. And, <laughs> you know, look at this. It's so sad. And people cheered them. That's the sickest part. People don't even know what's gone on. They don't even see what's happened. They cheer them. And that's the saddest part of all. We need to be speaking out on this. This this, this can't happen. Y'all, this can't happen or we're done. Go ahead and give up now. Throw your stuff in the streets. This guy was fine when he got out of the boat. Now he's in intensive care, in and out of consciousness. They tracked him. Look at the blood on his face there. He was fine when he was out, got out of the boat. Anyway, hope everybody's well. God bless and help us all. This is Jay Dad 1, over and out.